the yachting business, like some parts of Hollywood, is full of dark secrets. Beyond these sun-kissed decks and champagne-soaked parties, there is a dark underworld where billionaires use their power in exchange for more than just a lavish experience. Get ready to uncover the truths and unseen stories that expose the darker side of yachting, where the pursuit of pleasure may lead to both seductive and dangerous outcomes. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to know the secret lifestyle billionaires such as Bill Gates. First, we're going to dive into the yachting culture. Now, did you know that yachting and the famous Cannes Film Festival are in fact connected? Let us first understand yachting before getting into the relationship between it and the Cannes Festival. Yachting is typically used to refer to the sport or hobby of yacht racing or sailing. However, in this context, it is a commonly used phrase to describe specific aspects of the entertainment industry, particularly in Hollywood. So, yachting is a practice of celebrities, usually female entertainers, accepting invites to go on luxury yachts sponsored by rich people such as billionaires or industry executives. These invitations may include the promise of a large sum of money, other incentives, or whatever has been arranged. The yacht girls, who may be celebrities and are claimed to be involved in yachting, may receive large compensation for their participation. As you can see, yachting is very much associated with the exchange of money for companionship or other services. Knowing a little bit about yachting, let's explore the Cannes Film Festival and its connection to the yachting lifestyle. The Cannes Film Festival, commonly referred to as just Cannes, is among the most esteemed and renowned film festivals globally. It serves as a worldwide platform for exhibiting the greatest in international cinema and brings together directors, performers, business executives, plenty of celebrities, and wealthy individuals. And speaking of location, it is one of the most gorgeous cities on earth in France. Beyond films, Cannes is known for its glamorous parties and events. These get-togethers happen in a variety of venues such as luxurious hotels and, most famously, on private yachts docked off the shore. The yacht parties and gatherings on the Mediterranean waters provide an intimate setting for networking. Under the suns and stars, deals are reached, collaborations are formed, and industry relationships are strengthened. The yachting scene becomes an extension of the festival that blends business and pleasure effortlessly. In the world of con yachting, there is a distinct group known as Yacht Girls. These ladies come from a variety of backgrounds, models, actresses, influencers, and professionals. Everyone is pulled to the allure of the festival and the sea. Some work on the yachts, while others attend as guests. The presence just adds another level of excitement to the con event. According to Vanity Fair, a Hollywood reporter was able to acquire information from numerous frequent canoers about the high-end trade that takes place on the French Riviera each year. The reporter stated that the majority of the information he received led to Lebanese businessman Eli Nahas. The reporter also revealed that the businessman in question was sentenced to eight years in prison for running a prostitution ring in con after being busted in 2007. So now let's get into yacht girls and their roles. According to police, women serve men in hotels, yachts, and luxurious villas set on the hills above con. They vary in rank, from full-time escorts to models to beauty queens. A lawyer also disclosed that some of the ladies were brought to Cannes under false pretenses and forced into prostitution. When it is learned that the women from all walks of life meet together annually in Cannes for what one Parisian hooker refers to as the biggest payday of the year, the story becomes even more… interesting. Every year during the festival, there are 30 to 40 yachts in the bay at Cannes, each owned by someone extraordinarily wealthy, with about 10 girls on each boat. They're usually models who are entirely or partially nude. You may be wondering. Who's been involved in this yachting? Some of our well-known figures have been reported to hang out with the wealthy on their yachts in exchange for some type of payment. A closer look at Emily Rokowski's memoir, My Body, reveals some of the behind-the-scenes events that fueled rumors regarding Bella Hadid and Hailey Bieber. In her memoir, she recalled being paid $25,000 to attend the Super Bowl with Malaysian businessman Jolo, who had been accused of involvement in yachting. In the course of this video, you will see more celebrities who have been rumored to be involved in this act. One thought that may cross your mind is, why would celebrities with their wealth engage in such activities? Why would rich celebrities go yachting? To fully understand this, take some of the beautiful yachts that some of these celebrities visit. In that same way, the A-list celebrities attend the Cannes Festival, attendees can also enjoy the services of the yacht, such as Serene and Eclipse. For example, Consider the yacht Serene, which the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia reportedly owns. The weekly rental fee for the yacht is $5 million. 
That is the price that American billionaire Bill Gates must pay to enjoy this for a week while on vacation with his family. Looking at the amenities on this yacht, it's clear who rents them out for events. It's attractive enough to draw people in and ensure they have a good time. So if you're still not convinced why some of these celebrities are interested in yachting, let's take a closer look at how things work from the perspective of these women. What these celebrities and other affluent individuals may choose to go yachting for a variety of reasons, including exclusive parties and events, or simply to increase their status. Speaking of private parties, some celebrities may attend events held on yachts or at the homes of the rich people or businesses to network. These parties and gatherings can help them grow their careers because they can connect with people who can pull strings in the entertainment industry. Another reason why some of these models and actresses may be interested in the act is that they will most likely go to exotic locations for other people's money. Another reason will be social standing. You know that this is related to how you're perceived, your status, and your image in the industry. If you're seen rolling with the Top Guns, you will undoubtedly have a higher social standing than someone who only hangs out with ordinary people, so to speak. For instance, a certain actress made her feature debut in a major motion picture. The fact that someone was making their blockbuster debut is unusual and raised suspicions. It was implied that this actress was one who performed the act and was given the part. Celebrities may also be active in yachting to collaborate and close business deals. So now let's get into some of the allegations and rumors. Some sources have pointed fingers at Kim Kardashian, the queen of the Kardashian clan, for being sent home with a large sum of money after a party with the Malaysian billionaire Jolo, who has been linked to yachting. Well, it's not just her. Following Emily Rakowski's details in her memoir, she switched her focus to the likes of Hailey Bieber, Bella Hadid, and Kendall Jenner, since some of them have been seen cruising on yachts and having fun with Emily. Apart from this, a particular trip that took place in 2014, during which Selena Gomez brought several of the girls to Dubai, is another reason why some of these women have been accused of being involved in this conduct. Kendall Jenner, Gigi Hadid, Shay Mitchell, Josephine Scriver, and Devon Windsor are among those who attended the New Year's Day party in 2014. According to reports, the trip was financed by some influential Dubai residents who wished to spend time with the girls, so they flew them to the country. There were even allegations that Meghan Markle may have been involved in this conduct prior to her royal status. Some sources indicate that she met the prince through this, and she has been photographed on yachts on several occasions, including one where she was topless. It has been speculated that ex-actress was a yacht girl who hung out with Jeffrey Epstein and Prince Andrew. Even more, photos were made public as evidence that she traveled with Prince Andrew and may have been romantically involved with him. However, there were questions raised because the released photographs were not clear enough to tell whether or not she was the one. Now, let's dive into the dark side of yachting. Some years ago, a seemingly unsuccessful actress wrote about how another actress introduced her to the world of yachting. She said that the actress who drew her into the game described yachting as a simple act that involved largely drinking and being a plus one to these guys. She added that in the yachting business, some agencies even scam the models they bring in. Fortunately for her, her co-star had previously told her about it, so she treated this like an acting gig and asked for $125,000 up front. Not only are these stars brought in for the show, but their names are also used to recruit more women. So then, what truly happens on the yachts? She said that the models all wore the tiniest bikinis, most of them topless. The guys are trying to jam their junk into the tightest speedos that they can find while looking stupid. There's a lot of groping and staring. You'd be in the water and a guy would grab and touch you. They'd want to shower with you when you got out the water. They wanted to apply oil on you and then have you rub it on them. She added that the guys on the yachts were all up in the girls' faces. For instance, if they came across a poor model passing out, they would video her and then grope her. For the most part, she described it as a three-hour recorded sexual assault that she hated. According to her, being on the yacht wasn't even the end goal for the women there, as some were looking to be with wealthy men. These are the ones that a private yacht would ask for. She disclosed that on some mornings that she would receive a call in the room, and some models would be requested by private yacht. These guys were the wealthy ones. These were the most popular booking options among the models. They would do anything to get aboard those yachts. According to rumors, Vanessa Lynchy is the actress who wrote this article. Yachts aren't as glamorous as you might imagine. It's just endless days and nights of restless nights seeing the wealthy get away with crimes, ranging from dying on a boat to murder. But there is one billionaire that stands out, and that is none other than Elon Musk. In this video, you'll find out six of the most expensive thing that Elon Musk owns, and the last one will be beyond your imagination.